guys so I'm here today with a favorites video and I'm going to show you all the things I've been into lately and feel worthy of putting in a video so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the makeup and beauty products okay so this first item I know I'm so super late on this and most of you either probably already have it or you've heard about it a million and one times but I just got mine about a month ago and I've been in love with it so far and that is the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay now I've never really been into the Naked palettes because I have a bunch of palettes in my collection already that I don't use. Um, but I was in Sephora one day just browsing and I was looking at them and I saw the one and the three and they really didn't wow me at all. But this one really stood out to me and I just had to pick it up. It's basically a palette of neutrals but I love the range of colors it has. And I like that you can do a lot of things with this palette. You can do a really soft natural look or you can go bold and have a really dark smoky eye. I actually used it on my eyes today and I've used this at least every other day over the past month. I just really like this palette a lot. And I believe these run about 50 bucks or so at Sephora. So my next favorite is this angled eyeliner brush from e.l.f. And it looks like this. And I picked this up because I really like wearing cream eyeliner over liquid. But I hadn't been wearing it that much because I hadn't found a brush that applied it the way that I wanted it to. But I saw this in Target and I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. I'm telling you guys, this brush is the bomb. The tip is so small and stiff and it lets me get really close in for a nice precise line. I got this for only $3 at Target, which is another plus. So if you want a perfect clean line, I would certainly recommend this brush. It is amazing. So usually I don't change up my blushes too much. And for the past year or two, I was married to the Milani Bake Blush, like that was all I wore ever. And recently I bought a new one which has completely replaced that one and is now my go-to. And that is the NARS Blush in Angelica. I love this blush because it gives me a really nice natural flush to my cheeks. It makes me look really, you know, alive and healthy. But it's not too harsh where it's though it makes me look like a clown or like I'm in the circus. And it blends out really easily as well. Of course, I'm wearing it today. So yeah, this is my favorite blush of the moment. Highly recommend it. On to my nails. So the nail color I have been into and wearing off and on for the past couple of weeks is this one I'm wearing today. And this is called Yellow Bikini by Ruby Kisses. I'm really loving my brights right now, especially on the nails. It's springtime, it's about to be summertime, and I just really like that festive, fun look. And I got this from my local beauty supply store for like two or three bucks really inexpensive but it's actually a good quality polish i don't have any problems with it chipping or peeling and it stays on until i want to take it off so my next favorite is hands down my absolute favorite frozen treat of the moment and i'm kind of like bursting at the seams to share it with you guys because it's so tasty and delicious and every other positive adjective you can think of for a snack and that is the ciao bella wild italian strawberry limonata oh my goodness you guys i'm telling you this stuff is so good this stuff is so tangy and refreshing and it just tastes like they picked the strawberries and the lemons today and put it in here and shipped it right to me because it tastes so so fresh this will be the perfect summer treat but of course i eat this all year round i get this from whole foods and i think it's about five dollars for a container like this so most of you by now know that i do not eat meat and ever since i gave up pork about Eight years ago, I've had periodic cravings for bacon, and I tried some vegetarian bacon a, like a year or two ago, and it was so disgusting. It made me want to throw up, and it made me not want to try any other kind of vegetarian bacon. Until recently, when I heard some really good things about the Upton's Natural Vegan Bacon, and I tried it out, and I immediately fell in love with this stuff from the first bite. This definitely satisfies my bacon cravings. It has a nice smoky flavor. It's easy to cook. It doesn't have a weird texture. So yeah, if you're vegan and you're looking for some breakfast meats or some vegan bacon, I would certainly recommend that you check this out. Yeah, this stuff is good. My favorite clothing item right now most definitely has to be my Distress Shorts from She Inside. I like the wash on them. I love the distressing and I like that they're not super tight. They're really, really comfortable. I've worn these shorts in like two of my videos already and I plan on wearing them a million more times this summer because I like them that much. So yeah, I would definitely be rocking the hell out of these probably until they fall completely apart. Yeah, I love these shorts and they were only like $20 from Shein Sire. Really inexpensive. Spring is here and I'm so excited about that because now I can break out my cute shoes and sandals and I got a pair recently with 
which I think are perfect for spring and summer and they're really super cute. And they're these one strap heels from Just Fab. I really love the floral print on these and just the overall look of them. And they were $39.95 from Just Fab. Before I got these shoes, I was looking at some similar ones from Steve Madden, but those were more than double the price of these, so I'm glad that just Fab came out with these. And yeah, they're really comfortable. You can wear them with a dressy outfit or a casual outfit. So I really like these things. Lately, I have been really, really into headwear and head wraps and scarves and hats and all types of head decorations. And of course, today you can see I'm wearing this piece. I'm not even sure what this thing is called, but it has some, you know, jewels right here and it comes around. I think it's really nice. And I have a couple other ones I bought. This headband from Forever 21, it was like $4 or something, and it has fabric up here and then some little jewels down here. I think this is really cute. And then I have this one, which is really playful and printed, and you can actually, you know, twist the bow however you want it. So yeah, I think head wraps and little head pieces like this are so much fun. It definitely adds some pizzazz to your outfit, and I just think it makes your overall look a lot more interesting, so yeah. So that wraps up my favorites video, you guys. Let me know what your favorite item of the month is down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.